Okay, so one of the things that we're learning, because we're new to all this, uh, the homesteading life is pretty new to us. I'm more of a computer guy in the recording studio with guitars and chickens over there laying an egg. Not, I'm, I'm, I'm not born to this, but we're learning. But one of the things I am learning is that a lot of times you're gonna have to figure out a way to do a job by yourself safely. <laughs> sometimes, right? But sometimes there's nobody else that is gonna be able to help you. You just gotta figure it out. I'm learning a lot of those, you know, tricks and tips from my friend Ryan. I learned some for Prep Center Bob and a lot of people that we, we know, like Howard. Um, and today I'm gonna see if I can do this job that would seemingly be a two person job by myself, which should be interesting. Because those big doors that are probably 125 pounds a piece, um, I got to get them hung. And right now, Krista's inside doing school, and I don't want to disturb her. So I'm going to see if I can put to uh, use the tips and tricks on how to get it done. We'll see. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. But you'll see. If I, if I get it right, you'll see it. If, if I don't, I'm not gonna hide it. So there we go. Okay, so first things first, I gotta get these two by fours mounted on that header up there on the outside so that the track for the doors can rest on top of the track. Well, these are 10 foot boards and I'm one guy. So my plan is to take a chunk of wood, like a block of wood, get it screwed up there on one side at the right level and then screwed in on the other side, just a temporary thing. Rest this up there, uh, cause then I can probably do it on my own. Get a screw in or two and then hopefully if I can do that, everything will be level and we'll be off to the races. Hey, okay. side note, that's not grease. If you get my drift. All right, I'm kind of getting excited because it looks like it's gonna work out. Okay, one down. There we go. Okay, so phase one complete safely. No party fouls, nothing like that. And I forgot to mention Roy. Roy, my buddy Roy, he is one of the other folks who's been helping teach us, and thank you, Roy. So anyway, phase two. This is gonna be the tricky part, and I'm not gonna film it I think, yeah, I'm not gonna film it. This is probably 35, 40 pounds, a little windy out today. So it's gonna be a balancing act. You know what, I will film it, just in case I fall, and then that's what they call YouTube gold. Well, for those of you who don't like the channel, sorry, I didn't fall. The phone fell, but, ha-ha! See if we can keep safety third, or first, or something like that. All right, next up, the hardware that is gonna mount onto the doors to hang in the track. It was interesting because it gives you a, about a jillion different configurations on how to, to actually put this door up. Um, for different applications, but the problem has been and none of them seem to be just a basic regular install. So I'm gonna guess this is right and accurate. And if it's not, we'll figure it out. Well, let's just say my shimming system here might not be exactly what they would call OSHA approved, but looky there. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Now, here's the trick. I'm gonna call Krista out here and she's probably gonna think that I need help hanging the doors because, well, this is kind of above my pay grade, but 
by the, the grace of the Lord, I didn't kill myself and uh, it's done. Well, there's one little piece of metal trim that's gotta go on here, but she doesn't know. So she'll think I'm asking her for help probably. So let's see how this goes. Not just one. He's supposed to wait and get help. Oh my gosh! He did it! That's awesome, honey. That's awesome. Thank you. Happy That's dad. awesome. Happy dad, happy bride. Yeah. All right. That's cool. We still need a strip of metal here <laughs> to cover that up so it doesn't rot, but oh. everything's up. Oh, I thought that one was neat. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yep, it would have been uncovered either way. Yeah. So it needs to be covered up. Yeah. Happy barn awesome. day. Awesome. Happy Very barn cool. day. Boom, 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 boom. I see you. Now I don't. Now I do. <laughs> <laughs> Hope saying to herself, gosh, these are my parents. How old are these How people? How immature. And yeah, you're supposed to add extra syllables into immature. <sighs> Pretty sure I'm going to need, you know, four or five bottles of aspirin. No. Some, maybe some ibuprofen, a couple Midol PMs. No. <laughs> That's not for that. That is not for that. <laughs> oh, I'll take whatever at this point, right? I want it. No, no. <laughs> I think I got schmutz on me. I don't know if you yeah, can see that. Yeah, you did. A little bit of Hot lunch. Sauce. That would be a lazy man's lunch. That was Chef Boyardi. <laughs> Excuse me. I was just so hungry. I didn't have breakfast, and, and I just must have food, must have food. Where is uh, food? Food, easy, food. right now. Easy, I want yeah. now. I don't want to sit and make anything. <laughs> so the barn, um, there's a few little doodads we've got to do, but for the most part, I'd say it's, 98% done. Yes. I'm so excited. So excited. Hope is excited, honestly, because it, well, it's been a long time coming and we're just so very excited and, you know, I think and grateful, I'm, sorry, honestly. Sorry, I got all excited. I know. You I were, was excited. I wasn't even listening to what I was saying. I was. I was excited about your excitement <laughs> and that excited me. And I wanted to share my excitement with your excitement. Okay. What? <laughs> Are you done? Because I want to share I, I an excitement so. and I don't want to cut you off. Share the excitement here. I should and not have cut you off. Okay. It's pretty cold. Go ahead. Because I have a skirt on and the cold is going up my skirt. Really? As I sit here. It's, you don't say. Yeah, it's chilly. Do you need. Uh, no, I need pants. <laughs> <coughs> well, <coughs> my excitement was that hope likes to organize things she actually she she just put her in a in, in a in a spot and and say here please organize this and it's just gonna be done, done. and it look and it's and it makes sense it's just she just does it and I don't I I don't have to really we don't really have to give any you know this is what she this is the way I want it no. she knows she just yeah. knows how how we're gonna like it That's I think 45 right now. Oh, I'm so not cold. No, I know you've been working. But uh, yeah, uh, she doesn't even have to. We don't have to tell her to clean her room. Oh, no, 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 no. She and Ruth are polar opposites when it comes to that. Yes. And yes. they're in the same room. They're in the They've got to divide it. <laughs> They've got to divide her because I think Hope would probably do horrible things. If if no. if she had to have Ruth's land spill into her zone. Oh oh yeah, and and they have okay, they have they each have their own bed, and they each have their own dresser. It's a big room, but it's, it's a yeah. very big room for yeah. a, a downstairs room. Um, but they put the dressers in the middle of the room with a curtain with a curtain between them, so there's no bleeding over. Anywhere. It will not. Will not bleed. There is gets... no crossing the streams. No. <laughs> no. You don't cross the streams. Don't cross the streams. Because <laughs> Ruth is. Hurricane like, Ruth. Yeah. That's what we call her. She's like a mobile tornado. She is. 
I guess then all tornadoes are kind of mobile. Yeah, pretty much. But she is. Everywhere that child goes, there's something of hers. Uh-huh. It's just everywhere. Oh, Ruth's been here. Where's Ruth? We just oh, I just follow the stuff. Follow the trail. It's like Hansel follow, and Gretel the with trail. the crumbs into the woods. Yeah, All crazy. you gotta do is find the mess and then you'll find mm -hmm. Ruth. Yeah. Yeah. Not rose petals. No, there's no rose petals. It's just mess. Just little bits of mess. I love her. I, She's we so do. awesome. Our daughter is awesome. They're and all great. Yes, yes. They're just each so different, so and that's great. Different. But it mm -hmm. also does pose challenges. Yes, yes. But that's not about the barn. The barn. No, I'm and there's Brutus. Brutus. He's right inside, wondering why he's not outside. <laughs> he's, he's whining right now. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> anyway, so the barn. The only concern I have, and mom is not concerned about it, is since that wall is a south-facing wall, my concern is that it's going to pile up the snow there. She says that it did not last year, and I'm saying, okay, just because it didn't last year does not mean it won't this year. Yeah, I don't think it will, but you've got a good enough space underneath that door. I think it'll be fine. I think it's going to be just fine. Guess who's going to be cleaning it? Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you for our patrons. We talk a little more openly over at Patreon. There's a mm -hmm. link down below uh, because there's a lot of weird stuff going on. And we keep this channel happy, happy, happy. Yes. That way we can still share with you. Yes. And not have videos removed. Yes. I have to trim my mustache. I don't like it when it gets... Yeah, whatever. That's probably information that don't need, doesn't need to be shared. <coughs> so, I guess... Since the wind is blowing and you're chilly, mm -hmm. I just I was going to say, well, well, whatever blows, nothing. <laughs> I'm going to be done now. <laughs> I'm Brad. I'm Krista. <laughs> you guys have an amazing day. Mm -hmm.